In this video we share our Lord's messages to Saint Faustina on his final coming. The Lord Jesus wants to give us full happiness in heaven, therefore he calls us to conversion so that we break with sin and do not follow the path that leads to eternal condemnation. It is never too late to convert. The greater the misery of a soul, the greater its right to my mercy, said Jesus, the fountain of my mercy was opened wide by the lance for all souls no one have I excluded. Diary 1182 the Lord Jesus entrusted Sister Faustina a very important mission, you will prepare the world for my final coming. Diary 429 The Holy Mother also spoke about this mission, saying to her the following, I gave the Saviour to the world, as for you, you have to speak to the world about his great mercy and prepare the world for the second coming of him who will come, not as a merciful Saviour, but as a just judge. Diary 635. The Lord Jesus wants to warn us of the coming judgment day and calls us to use the time of mercy, the awful day, the day of my justice, is near, Diary 965, before I come as a just judge, I first open wide the door of my mercy. He who refuses to pass through the door of my mercy must pass through the door of my justice. Diary 1146. I do not want to punish aching mankind, said Jesus, but I desire to heal it, pressing it to my merciful heart. I use punishment when they themselves force me to do so, my hand is reluctant to take hold of the sword of justice. Before the day of justice, I am sending the day of mercy. Diary 1588. Saint Faustina about the second coming of the Lord Jesus. Write this, before I come as the just judge, I am coming first as the King of Mercy. Before the day of justice arrives, there will be given to people a sign in the heavens of this sort. All light in the heavens will be extinguished, and there will be great darkness over the whole earth. Then the sign of the cross will be seen in the sky, and from the openings where the hands and the feet of the Saviour were nailed will come forth great lights which will light up the earth for a period of time. This will take place shortly before the last day. Diary 83 I will not allow myself to be so absorbed in the whirlwind of work as to forget about God. I will spend all my free moments at the feet of the Master hidden in the Blessed Sacrament. He has been tutoring me from my most tender years. Diary 82 On March 25th, in the morning, during meditation, God's presence enveloped me in a special way, as I saw the immeasurable greatness of God and, at the same time, His condescension to His creatures. Then I saw the Mother of God, who said to me, Oh, how pleasing to God is the soul that follows faithfully the inspirations of His grace. I gave the Saviour to the world, as for you, you have to speak to the world about His great mercy and prepare the world for the second coming of Him who will come, not as a merciful Saviour, but as a just judge. Oh, how terrible is that day! Determined is the day of justice, the day of divine wrath. The angels tremble before it. Speak to souls about this great mercy while it is still the time for granting mercy. If you keep silent now, you will be answering for a great number of souls on that terrible day. Fear nothing. Be faithful to the end. I sympathize with you. Diary 635. September, first Friday, in the evening, I saw the Mother of God, with her breast bared and pierced with a sword. She was shedding bitter tears and shielding us against God's terrible punishment. God wants to inflict terrible punishment on us, but he cannot because the Mother of God is shielding us. Diary 686 Once, as I was going down the hall to the kitchen, I heard these words in my soul, say unceasingly the chaplet that I have taught you. Whoever will recite it will receive great mercy at the hour of death. Priests will recommend it to sinners as their last hope of salvation. Even if there were a sinner most hardened, if he were to recite this chaplet only once, he would receive grace from my infinite mercy. 
I desire that the whole world know my infinite mercy. I desire to grant unimaginable graces to those souls who trust in my mercy. Diary 687 On one occasion, I heard these words, My daughter, tell the whole world about my inconceivable mercy. I desire that the Feast of Mercy be a refuge and shelter for all souls, and especially for poor sinners. On that day the very depths of my tender mercy are open. I pour out a whole ocean of graces upon those souls who approach the fount of my mercy. The soul that will go to confession and receive Holy Communion shall obtain complete forgiveness of sins and punishment. On that day all the divine floodgates through which graces flow are opened. Let no soul fear to draw near to me, even though its sins be as scarlet. My mercy is so great that no mind, be it of man or of angel, will be able to fathom it throughout all eternity. Everything that exists has come forth from the very depths of my most tender mercy. Every soul in its relation to me will contemplate my love and mercy throughout eternity. The Feast of Mercy emerged from my very depths of tenderness. It is my desire that it be solemnly celebrated on the first Sunday after Easter. Mankind will not have peace until it turns to the fount of my mercy. Diary 699 Saint Faustina also experienced her own personal illumination of conscience, which she described in this way. Suddenly I saw the complete condition of my soul as God sees it. I could clearly see all that is displeasing to God. I did not know that even the smallest transgressions will have to be accounted for. What a moment! Who can describe it? To stand before the thrice holy God. In number 635 of Saint Faustina's diary we hear. You have to speak to the world about his great mercy and prepare the world for the second coming of him who will come, not as a merciful saviour, but as a just judge. Oh how terrible is that day! Determined is the day of justice, the day of divine wrath. The angels tremble before it. Speak to souls about this great mercy while it is still the time for granting mercy. We know that our Lord owns the end game. Trust in God's providence no matter what happens. We stand on God's sure promises that He will be faithful in the midst of tribulation. Thank you for supporting my channel. May God bless you and keep you. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us.